Oleg Alexandrovich Prudius is a Ukrainian-American professional wrestler. He was also known by his ring name Vladimir Kozlov. When competing for WWE, he won the Tag Team Championship once with Santino Morella. He is trained in freestyle wrestling, rugby, football, sambo, kickboxing, judo, jujutsu and mixed martial arts. Prudius has also worked as a stage and screen actor, notably having a small role in Spike Lee's 25th Hour, and a walk-on role in the second season of the HBO series The Wire. Prudius also had a role in Grindhouse. Appearing in the Werewolf Women of the SS trailer, he was credited under his real name and his WWE persona for the appearance. He is a former Ohio Valley wrestling heavyweight champion. Before wrestling, Prudius has won numerous achievements, becoming the 2005 USA Open Heavyweight Sambo Champion and a United States Kickboxing Association International Heavyweight Grappling Champion. He has also played American football for the Ukrainian national team as well as Santa Barbara City College. Professional Wrestling Career, World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE Deep South Wrestling and Ohio Valley Wrestling On January 17, 2006, World Wrestling Entertainment announced that Prudius had signed a developmental deal and was sent to Deep South Wrestling. On April 7, 2006, he debuted under his real name and had his first match in DSW against Bobby Walker. On May 5, 2006, Prudius had his first untelevised WWE match during a house show in San Jose, California, defeating Rob Conway. The next night, at another house show in Sacramento, California, Matt Stryker cut a promo on Prudius, calling him a filthy immigrant, causing Prudius to attack him. Prudius then picked up the microphone and said he that he is proud to be in America. On the December 18, 2006 episode of Raw, Prudius made an appearance as a WWE prospect named Vladimir Kozlov, which became his ring name. For the next several weeks, Kozlov was interviewed on WWE programming, proclaiming his love for Double Double Lee, but also began drawing a villainous response after declaring his superiority over whatever wrestlers were competing at the time, saying, I could beat both of them. He then was taken off television for over a year while working in the developmental system and participating in a number of dark matches, all of which he won. On July 28, 2007 in Louisville, Kentucky, Kozlov won the OVW Heavyweight Championship by defeating Paul Birchall, but gave the championship the same night to Michael W. Cruel due to an agreement they made before pursuit of the WWE Championship on the April 4, 2008 episode of SmackDown, Kozlov made his official WWE debut as a villain. With the unique quirk of having no entrance music and no Titantron video, his entrance consisted of complete darkness except for a solitary spotlight following him to the ring. He defeated Matt Bentley in his first match, and over the following weeks, Kozlov would go on to easily win several matches, first against local talent and then established names including Colin Delaney, Funaki, Nunzio, Shannon Moore, Jimmy Wang Yang, Jamie Noble, and Domino. On the July 11, 2008 episode of SmackDown, Kozlov debuted an entrance theme and Titantron video as he defeated Stevie Richards. In the following weeks, as Kozlov continued to easily win matches, he began demanding better competition. On the September 12, 2008 episode of SmackDown, he started to seek that competition, attacking Jeff Hardy. Over the following weeks, Kozlov would continue attacking both Hardy and the WWE champion Triple H, eventually starting a loose feud between the three of them over the WWE championship. On the November 7 episode of SmackDown, Kozlov earned a match against Triple H for the WWE title at Survivor Series after defeating The Undertaker by disqualification after he was attacked by Jeff Hardy. 
The match was originally intended to include Kozlov, Jeff Hardy, and Triple H, although Hardy was removed due to a storyline injury. Continuing his pursuit of the WWE Championship, Kozlov competed in and was unsuccessful in winning a Beat the Clock Challenge match against ECW champion Matt Hardy for another title shot. This led to the two meeting at Armageddon, where Kozlov gained his first pay-per-view win by defeating Hardy in a non-title match. Kozlov competed in the 2009 Royal Rumble match, entering as the sixth participant, but was eliminated by Triple H after eliminating the great Carly, Carlito, and Montel Vontavious Porter. He then qualified to be part of the No Way Out Elimination Chamber match where he was pinned for the first time after receiving a last ride from The Undertaker, though he still remained unpinned in one-on-one -on -one competition. Kozlov's undefeated streak in televised singles competition ended on the March 2, 2009 episode of Raw, in which he was defeated by Shawn Michaels. This match was for the opportunity to face The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25. His first televised singles loss on SmackDown came against The Undertaker himself on March 13, 2009. The Ruthless Roundtable on April 13, 2009, Kozlov was drafted to the ECW brand as part of the 2009 WWE draft as ECW's only pick of the night. Shortly after the draft, his character was tweaked to further highlight the training he received within the Russian military. He won his first match on the brand when he easily defeated a local competitor. On the June 30th episode of ECW on Sci-Fi, he teamed with William Regal to defeat Christian and Tommy Dreamer. His first defeat in singles competition on ECW came on the July 9, 2009 episode of ECW where he lost a number one contenders match to Christian for Tommy Dreamer's ECW Championship at Night of Champions. On July 21, Kozlov began an angle with Ezekiel Jackson in which, week after week, after one of them had easily defeated a local competitor, the other would come out and hit their finishing move on the fallen opponent in a game of one-upmanship. On the August 18 episode of ECW, Jackson was set to team with ECW champion Christian against the team of Kozlov and number one contender William Regal. Jackson turned on Christian, forming an alliance with Regal and Kozlov. Kozlov and Jackson aided Regal in his feud with Christian over the ECW championship, but Regal was unable to capture the title. On the December 15 episode of ECW, Kozlov came out with Regal to face Jackson in an ECW homecoming battle royal qualifying match. During the match, Regal turned on Kozlov by pulling his feet while at ringside, which ultimately cost him the match. After the match, Kozlov attempted to attack Regal, but Jackson jumped him from behind and both proceeded to attack Kozlov. This split Kozlov from the ruthless round table, making him a face character. Alliance with Santino Morella When the ECW brand came to an end, Kozlov, along with all other ECW talent, became a free agent. Kozlov would make his debut for the Raw brand on March 8, 2010 in a handicap gauntlet match with John Cena competing against Kozlov, Mr. McMahon, Drew McIntyre, Jack Swagger, and Mark Henry, reverting him to a heel. On the May 3rd episode of Raw, he would team again with his former ECW partner William Regal to face the tag team champions The Hart Dynasty. Kozlov and Regal were defeated when Regal tapped out to David Hart Smith's sharpshooter. On the May 10th episode of Raw, he appeared backstage with Santino Morella, William Regal, and Flavor Flav in a backstage segment, where Santino asked to join him in a tag team. However, Kozlov refused to join, stating that he always loses. On the May 20th episode of Superstars, after Santino made another offer to form a tag team with him, Kozlov beat him in a squash match. On the May 31st episode of Raw, Kozlov turned face again when he slammed Regal behind the referee's back during a mixed tag team match, allowing Santino Morella and Eve Torres to pick up the win.
On the June 7th episode of Raw, he and Santino Morella were forced to compete in a dance-off which Kozlov won. On June 14th episode of Raw, Kozlov served as a special referee for the match between William Regal and Santino Morella which Morella won after Kozlov intentionally gave him a fast count. On the June 28th episode of Raw, he fought Morella one-on-one -on -one with the stipulation being if Kozlov loses he would become Morella's tag team partner. He won, however, with Regal interfering after the match. Kozlov stopped Regal with a big boot to the chest and then carried Morella backstage. The following week, he teamed with Santino against William Regal and the Great Carly. Kozlov and Santino went on to win the match while after the conclusion of the match, the great Carly hit Regal with the brain chop. In the following weeks, Kozlov and Santino would continue their undefeated streak on both Raw and Superstars. At Night of Champions 2010, Kozlov and Santino Morella competed in a tag team turmoil match for the WWE Tag Team Championship but were unsuccessful as the titles were won by Dashing, Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre. On the November 15th episode of Raw, Kozlov and Morella fought in a tag team match against the USOs to determine the number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team Championship. They won the match and faced the reigning tag team champions Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel at Survivor Series, which they lost. They went on to win the tag team titles in a four-way elimination tag team match on Raw on December 6, 2010 against the USOs, Slater and Gabriel and the tag team of Mark Henry and Yoshi Tatsu. At TLC, tables, ladders and chairs, Kozlov and Morella defeated Slater and Gabriel by disqualification to retain the title. They would also enjoy successful title defenses over the likes of Tavo Guerrero and Drew McIntyre, the USOs, as well as the new Nexus. The duo lost the tag team titles back to Slater and Gabriel at Elimination Chamber. Kozlov was supposed to be a part of an eight-man tag match at WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta, Georgia. However, during a WrestleMania Axis match, he was attacked by the core members and Kofi Kingston took his place at the event. On March 8, Kozlov then became the Protocon or O'Brien on NXT Redemption. On March 22 of NXT Redemption, Kozlov and his rookie O'Brien beat JTG and his rookie Jacob Novak in a dance-off. Afterwards, Kozlov began teaching O'Brien Sambo-like dancing and board-breaking. O'Brien was eliminated on the June 28, 2011, episode of NXT, being the fourth rookie eliminated from the competition. Kozlov would then go on to feud with JTG on NXT, defeating JTG on three occasions. On the August 5th episode of SmackDown, Kozlov's last WWE match and lost to Mark Henry. After the match, Henry breaks his left leg before Sheamus came down to the ring and saves him from Henry. After SmackDown, WWE announced that Kozlov was released from his WWE contract. In Oki Genome Federation on August 30, 2011, it was announced that Prudius would be making his first post-WWE appearance on September 3rd, working for the Japanese promotion in Oki Genome Federation under his new ring name Alexander Kozlov. He made his debut on September 3rd at Genome 17, losing to Eric Hammer in under three minutes. On December 2, Kozlov defeated Montana Silva. On May 26 at the IGF Genome 20, Prudius battled Jerome Labana for the IGF Championship, but lost in three minutes. On July 10, Prudius got a rematch for the title, but lost again to Jerome Labana. Other media Prudius has made many television and film appearances and is actively pursuing an acting career in Hollywood. He appeared in the second season of the HBO drama series The Wire, as well as Roxal Amana and It's Not Too Easy on Ukrainian TV. In 2002, he appeared in Spike Lee's film 25th Hour, playing a Russian mafia enforcer. 
He appeared in the Russian military theatre play Victory Day and the Ukraine University play Three Musketeers. In 2013 he was also featured in Season 7, Episode 4 of USA Network's TV series Burn Notice. In wrestling, finishing moves as Alexander Kozlov Kozlok as Vladimir Kozlov Backbreaker Rack Drop 2008 Iron Curtain Vertical Suplex Dropped into a Neg Breaker 2008-2009 Signature moves Big Boot Cannonball Fallaway Slam Front Kick to an opponent's chest overhead Side Belly to Belly Suplex Scoop Power Slam Trapping Head Butts to an opponent's chest Nicknames, the Moscow Mauler, the Soviet Cyborg, the Soviet War Machine, Entrance Themes, All for the Motherland, by Jim Johnston, Pain, by Jim Johnston, La Vittoria Emia, by Jim Johnston, Championships and Accomplishments, Martial Arts Sambo USA Open Heavyweight Sambo Champion, United States Kickboxing Association USKBA International Heavyweight Grappling Champion, Professional Wrestling Ohio Valley Wrestling OVW Heavyweight Championship Pro Wrestling Illustrated PWI ranked him number 53 of the top 500 singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 2009. World Wrestling Entertainment WWE WWE Tag Team Championship with Santino Morella Slammy Award for Breakout Star of the Year Wrestling Observer Newsletter Most Overrated Worst Worked Match of the Year vs. Triple H and Edge at Survivor Series